Well, the children's choir kind of got started in a strange way. I was walking into my house one day and I get a phone call from Anna Vogley and she says, Seth, I've hired you to direct a children's choir. Not, would you direct a children's choir? But, I've hired you to direct a children's choir. And I was like, you have? And so we put our heads together, me and Gabrielle and, and Anna, and got it off the ground. And then Gabrielle and I took it and ran with it. And then kids started signing up and started singing. And, and that led us to what we have today, which is a group of 25 singers who sound really, really good and, and love to be there and love to sing. Uh, what I enjoyed while being part of the choir is like having, having a voice. I mean, that's, I've just always enjoyed singing since I was a very young. So I've always wanted to do something like that. We get to be our own people and like, we get to say what we want to say and like we're being able to be heard. It's a place where you can sing and nobody pressures you to do anything more. And it's fun. Everyone's like nice and there's like no, no reason to be like scared or anything on stage or just like at rehearsal. Like that, like it's just a really fun th um, choir and you do a lot of fun songs. Well, the thing that I particularly liked about rehearsals um, was that Seth always made it a fun and inviting space. Um, it was never, it never felt like work. We get to practice songs and it's very fun. What I enjoy about rehearsals is learning songs. Seth's like enthusiasm when we're learning a new song. Like everyone would have like their own part and Seth would like play the piano along. Being able to learn new songs with like a group of people and Seth's ability to teach it well and fun is something I really enjoyed. You learn all the songs and everything and the deeper meaning behind the songs and also food at the end or cookies or whatever it would be and make our days just like that. We have a lot of fun during rehearsals, always. You have games, and then like the first time you meet, you have pizza. Kids always love pizza. Um, also, we do a lot of warm-ups. It's really beneficial uh, to do warm-ups. <laughs> what I loved about rehearsals was um, all the exercises we did. I remember the most is the little um, frisbee drills. I, I don't know why those stick in my head so much. So it was just kind of a way to like get everybody calmed down and started together. It was Seth's thing and he would be like, throw the frisbee to someone else in the choir. Um, I think it helped form connections as well, but you would, um, you go, woo, <laughs> the whole choir would do it. You know, it felt, it felt like we were teams, you know, the different sections working together. Um, and just the way, the way he taught it and the energy he, that he always supplied um, it was just, it was contagious, and, and I think it, it carried through. I would always um, look forward to it every Sunday. It just made me feel more connected to people at St. Joan of Arc. Connecting with people, making new friends, it was really fun, you know? And like just singing and like, you know, you didn't like really care. You could just have fun, basically. And it's just like a great way to like meet people and to kind of be with other people who then just like are connected through music, which is super great. I love that about like rehearsals. And every week it's just like you get to see these people, you get to work and you get to see things come together and really improve. And then finally, you know, you get to the, the show time, which is great. They learn how to be patient and how to do something again. Um, in rehearsal, there's kind of a joke among choir directors that when we say, oh, we're just going to do that one more time, we don't really mean it. We mean we're going to do that one more time if it sounds good. And so that sense of, I've got to practice this to get it to be better, stronger, more confident, so that I can bring my absolute best is an important skill that I think can apply to their lives elsewhere. The performances were always fun because the rehearsals took time and effort, and then the performances. It, stuff takes time, and that time makes it worth it in the end. 
something I really enjoyed about the performances was like the fun we would have as like a group. I remember a specific time when I was sitting in the back risers with a friend of mine, Luis, and we would have a competition to see who could sing the loudest in like our certain part. And when, like whenever we were singing like the church songs as like a mass, we would like see who could belt the loudest. And it was, it was always so much fun because like the people wanted to be there. I've always kind of enjoyed being on, on stage. Um, I don't know, there's something about the, uh, the energy of it. And it felt like you were giving back to the community. You know, it, it felt like you were part of something. Uh, and, if, and it was, um, it was always, it always felt like, I mean, I wouldn't call it a blessing at the time, but it felt like a, a really great gift to be able to, to give back through music, even at such a young age, you know? And everybody loved it, you know? All the old ladies always came up after. You know, they're always, you know, they showed a lot of love. It's pretty, that was a pretty good memory, honestly, just seeing everybody stand up and just clap, just taking it all in. It's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Being able to perform made me feel more comfortable performing in general. And just to be a part of something more musical in that aspect uh, was very rewarding for me, so I enjoyed that. I like that we can perform on a whole stage in front of everyone and we are, it's probably our best, hopefully it is our best, and we can like really like get the experience of being in front of a bunch of people on stage. We were um, connected again, like whenever we performed, I would always look at every single person there and they would look at me back and we knew what we were doing and um, we made it so well that um, the audience loved it. Um, yeah, whenever you're in a children's choir and you have parents, then of course they'll applaud and stuff. I liked, I liked standing up there and looking pretty and all of the parents being like, oh, your, your child was wonderful or, um, your solo was great. I loved your voice. I liked all those comments. It really, it really ma made me feel good about my voice and my talent. I think that one of the things it does is it gives kids a place to feel safe and challenged at the same time because they're surrounded by a group of people who are all doing the things that they're doing. They're all singing together but they're also in front of a group of people who are hungry for something from them, who need something from them. And they have that safety. They can trust that, that I will be up there helping them if they get a little confused on the words or that the piano player might just slow down if they're stuck or that, that there, are, there are people there who are helping them. But ultimately they drive the bus. You have the entire, the entire congregation there supporting you, singing along, or you know, watching, watching us sing as we, as we sing our songs that we worked on for you know, months. And it was just really great to see the culmination of all that hard work. To have such a big audience there to like see us and support us was just a really great feeling. It's a chance for the older people to see um, what we've been working on. I just think it's good experience for little kids to feel more open with themselves. And it's a scary thing to do. So um, the more you do it, the better you get. And it's an important skill to have in life. It was kind of scary at the beginning, but then after you got it, like start singing, this, the confidence just starts building up and then you just have to doing the song basically, mm -hmm. singing it out. Yes, definitely. The first time, yeah, I was nervous. I didn't know if I would be good enough at singing. But now, I feel more comfortable, definitely. I enjoyed in performances gaining confidence. I think at the beginning when I was younger, it was a lot more nerve wracking. And as I got older and as we did more performances, I really grew in confidence. Uh, and that's helped me to, um, to go into other things. Now I'm in musicals and I'm in theater in high school and now college. Um, and so the confidence gain was amazing because I started at such a young, such a young age performing in front of people. I never really been part of a choir before, so it really taught me a lot about like community community building, how to work to, together with others. It helped me 
form relationships with other people and I value that very much. It helped me like grow as a person because this was basically like basically kind of like a home because I came here every single Sunday so it was just like really nice you know and I felt like I didn't have to pretend or anything here I could just be myself. We felt like a family together and it was like really nice. It also helps me connect with other people here and I've made so many friends at choir when I was there and I still see them now during like peer ministry at church at other events so mm -hmm. Um, it, may, it makes me feel strong and confident and more connected. And I really enjoy public speaking now. So I'm doing a lot with admissions in college because I'm, in com or because I'm comfortable in front of crowds. And I do think that a huge part of that stemmed from performing as a young girl. I feel like being in the children's choir has it's built, built some character. Really helpful for me just feeling comfortable with like an, a new environment and help me like better connect with St. Joan of Arc and find like where, where I am on my journey. Because you just learn a lot of things along the way. Maybe you don't realize it at that time, but you do really just build up these skills that help you along your journey of just life in general. Really just gives you that extra support that maybe you just don't have. Being able to perform music at a young age in a community that is so welcoming, that is so kind, really helps in a myriad of ways through confidence, through knowledge of music, through like the ability to learn something new and the ability to partake as a team. I feel like it, I, I've grown in all those aspects because of the children's choir. And I feel like it's very important to have youth take part in like group music like a choir. The changes that I see that are most exciting are the changes where, where because of being in the choir or, or because of the, the experience they bring, that a child grows into somebody more than who they were when they started. I'm thinking of a little girl named Ellen that was one of my founding members, I think. And when she started, she could not sing in tune she, she really struggled with it. And then by the time she was in fifth grade, she was singing solos. And just when I see growth like that in, in kids, it, it's really amazing to me. And those are the kinds of things I notice. Or as they, they start choir and they don't know anybody and they're such shy, sweet little people. And as that, they start feeling comfortable and they come out of their shell, and we see their goofy side, their bombastic side, their dramatic side, and they, they blossom into somebody bigger and more amazing. That's what I see and what I love about working with the kids in the children's choir. So my experience with the, with the children's choir was very important to me uh, and my journey as a musician and, and sort of instilled in me this love of, of, and this passion of like working towards music, like putting in the work, putting in the effort, putting in the hours uh, and, and reaping the benefits, you know, because of my experience with the children's choir, I was, um, I was excited for challenges and to keep going. So I, I learned that early on. Yeah, I would just say it just definitely helped me see another side of music that I never would have if I didn't join. Like, okay, I can, depict what's going on and not just listening to a song or whatever it is. I've learned how um, to read sheet music and um, how to sing in a choir. And I've also learned how, um, how to sing three and two part harmony and to stick to my own part while I'm doing it. I've learned how to harmonize better and how to control my voice better. In elementary school, I was part of an after-school choir, but as soon as that ended, this uh, choir here with St. Joan of Arc and with Seth, the children's choir, it was my only, my only way to grow as a musician, as a singer, and to improve there. And so doing that, it really helped me develop and continue as a musician, as a singer, and then it like stuck with me as I continue to do more stuff with music and, and doing that. And still, even as I do music projects today, I still remember like my time that I was singing and like it definitely helped me as as a musician today. Well, 
my relationship with music has grown after the children's choir because I found it to be another way of prayer. Martin Luther said music is like praying twice, and I think that's a really good way to look at music. It can be um, really influential and can spur up a lot of emotions, which is beautiful. Um, it's a, and at such a young age, being connected with music with other peers around um, which was, was beautiful and learning how to pray in different ways. I think another important thing about the choir is how much the actual choristers, the kids who sing, grow themselves prayerfully and theologically. You know, they learn in a very organic way. It's not, you know, it's, it's not overt learning. It's just, they're just absorbing it. But they're growing prayerfully. They're growing theologically. Because the music, um, oh, like um, Panis Angelicus, right, is about Eucharist. Um, Ordinary Miracle is about the wonders of God's creation. You know, Saheta is about world religions and world language. Maybe it's a different way to absorb that stuff. And um, they walk away more with a little bit more theological grounding than they might even know. And um, I don't know that we should really tell kids that, though we probably should tell them about the pizza and you know, the cookies and the bagels. <laughs> Every single time we performed, we would be not saying forced, but we would always hear the mass and just hear the stories behind everything. So it just really gave you that more of a connection, more than just sitting down, because you're you got nothing else to do but listen. So you you just like connect with God in that sense. Because a lot of the music dealt with um, God and Jesus, it made me feel more connected with God and what God was as a person or like spirit. I felt closer to God just being in the children's choir. I see it like in, in the kids when we're singing, when we're singing on stage all together. I see God, it's like he's present like there in like us. It helps see God from a different perspective when you're singing for him. It's like a different perspective because you're thinking of like how God is like right there with you. Just seeing them like make jokes with each other um, or goof around. I definitely think I saw God in that. I saw God in the world through the children's choir in my peers. Just being around other people who valued their faith, who valued music and who wanted to be involved. Um, in church and in our parish here, St. Joan of Arc was really beautiful because I started to see God not only on the cross, or see Jesus not only on the cross, but see him in, in the people I was singing around. I think music is a form of prayer. So I really think that it's very prayerful. And so it allows us to engage in prayer in a very unique way because we're engaging in prayer specifically through our children's voices. I just think that's really precious and really, really matters. It, it feeds the entire community of St. Joan of Arc because we, the, fam, the children's choir does, uh, sings at every single one of our types of liturgy. Not every liturgy, of course, but every type of liturgy. So they come to the five o'clock mass, they come to the gym mass, they come to the first communion masses, and of course they come to family mass. And they add an enormous amount of beauty to those liturgies. And again, I think, um, since music is prayer, I think they add a unique, a uniquely voiced prayer to our liturgies. Um, because the children's voices aren't heard very often outside of family mass. And so the children's choir, they're showcased and they're heard. And our families are our future. And so the more our families and our children can be showcased and heard, the better. I think one of the biggest things about the children's choir that has really come to my mind as central to its existence is it gives children a place to, to share a gift as equals. I think lots of times adults underestimate children. They see them as cute, as uh, adorable, as, as kind of a mess. And they are cute, they are adorable, and they can be kind of a mess, but they can also do beautiful and amazing things. And I think that when people see the children's choir and hear them, that they, that they experience something of an ordinary miracle where, where 
all of the sudden they're they're brought in and and they're transported to a different place and find themselves feeling something that is equal to what the adult choir gives, equal to what the musicians on staff give. And I think that that is the purpose, to be, to be ministers to others and to help them feel something beautiful, maybe a little touch of God in a way that they wouldn't feel in any other way. considering entering the choir, just do it, right? It's a great experience, super fun. You'll learn how to, you know, do music and you'll, you'll be with, with, with other people who are really cool people. You'll meet a lot of really cool people, lifelong friends, I would say. I'd say just enter it at this point. Like, there's no, like, bad reasons why you shouldn't join it. You should just, like, you know, go and join it, have fun, make new friends, you know, connect with everyone. I would say, and this is advice I like to give a lot, is uh, go for it. Um, you know, it's more fun than anything. Um, you're gonna make friends, it's, good, it's a good environment, and you're gonna have, um, you're gonna learn a lot about yourself. You know, it's just, there's nothing to be scared of. If anything, you're gonna go in and you're gonna have way more fun than you thought you would. Even though you might feel nervous, you never know what's gonna happen unless you try to be in the choir. and. It, um, if you're feeling nervous, it's okay because you'll make great friends, you'll make amazing memories like I have, and it's a great experience. It's a great opportunity, and it isn't high expectations. So you don't really need to stress out. You practice, you learn, and no matter what level you are in music, you will grow and be ready for those performances. 
So I would really recommend joining. Trust and take a leap of faith because good things can come from taking chances. Um, I, would, I would give the recommendation to take a chance because a lot of good comes from taking chances. I would say if you enjoy music and maybe you feel a little nervous or you feel maybe a little scared to perform in general, the choir is like a really great place to just get that performance experience, do something that you love, get to know other St. Joan of Arc members. And I'd say you have more to gain than you have more to lose. I would say give it a try. I mean, all children in grades two through seven are welcome. There's no audition. Um, if your child likes, they can bring a friend. You don't have to go to St. Joan of Arc, in other words, to be part of the choir. If you're a serious chorister, you want to be part of it, you're very welcome. So you really have very little to lose and a lot to gain, potentially. What I would tell a young musician joining the choir or thinking about it, but maybe unsure, oftentimes at Mass I might say, well, give us a try, there's pizza. I'm really fun, you'll really like it. But I think that it's also fair to say, if they're really on the fence, it can seem daunting. We have a busy schedule. There are high expectations in terms of rehearsal and in terms of what we do on, uh, in front of uh, the congregation, our performances. And that can all seem really daunting. And that I feel that sometimes too. There are definitely times where I think to myself, ooh, do I wanna do another season of this? But every time that I've said yes, I've always been so glad and it doesn't take very long. Usually within the first rehearsal, I go, that's why I did this. That's why I signed up for this because it's really, really a joyful experience. There are some great kids in choir. We sing some beautiful music. And if it's hard, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. And you always wanna be around adults who believe in you, who think you can do more than you can do because then you will grow into more than you think you can be. So come sign up and join and be a part of what makes St. Joan of Arc great. Be a part of our journey and we'll be happy to welcome you.